Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to doing two episodes 9 and 10 of The Dangers in My Heart. Let's go ahead and get started on episode 9 in 3, 2, 1. No. <laughs> That's a good answer. Like, oh, come on, you don't want to be friends with me? Right. Right. I mean, because, you know, some boys ain't really going to do that. Damn, hold up. <laughs> With the rem <laughs>
kind of gives me Cosmo vibes. Oh. Really? Or is that a lie? True, but once again, you care about her. baby. Yeah, but she currently wants to hang out with you. She wants to do a lot of things with you. Well, I don't know who you say you is, but God almighty damn, how you doing? Oh my God. No, even if some guys have girlfriends, they still do cheat. Not saying that all guys cheat, just some. <laughs> mm. 
No, já má dál. Yeah, not really. No, 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 it's like, yeah, 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 the, the tension, we gotta go. Establishing dominant stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
No, I don't think she's using you. Especially with everything that you two have been through these last few weeks for this show. Like... But she likes you. I definitely get, like, how he's feeling in the moment. It's not... It, all the emotions are coming out all at once. And you feel like, yes, yeah, someone's really played you and fucked you over. And you feel like you can't trust anybody after that. Talk to her. And that's okay. Opposites attract.
Oh my god, once again, hungry baby. <laughs> But you're taking it. <laughs> Yeah, so just bring it when school resumes. Finally, oh my god. <laughs> They're so fucking cute, oh my god. Ugh, like... To have this, uh, like, no, not only that, like, literally was not expecting these two to have their first little argument or just fight in this episode. I was expecting that more in the second half of the show, which it, that still could happen with these two, because obviously, like, yeah, I get it, Do homeboy from the first episode when we saw him, of course, yes, he, he is head over heels in love with Yamada. Um, I feel like almost every guy is because, duh, popular girl in scroll, da 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 got to date with her, got to be with her, everything, duh. Call me in a nutshell, kind of, in a way. But, okay. You don't screw over a girl and her feelings, especially with trying to use someone else in order to get this person. And the fact is that, you know, Ichikawa, there was a moment where he truly felt like that, I was expecting, like, okay, like, these two were not going to talk until, like, you know, episode 10 and apologize and everything. But no, it, that all happened in the span of one freaking episode. And it does make me wonder, like, going into 10, what the heck is now going to happen between these two? They're not really, like, in the phase of dating, but they're just still, once again, very, very close. And the fact that they both liked the same moment in the manga, which is really sweet. I can't with you. Like, oh my god. Like, crap. I don't even feel good right now. I feel like I need to lay down for a couple of minutes or some shit. Because I don't know why. Like, something's just wrong with me. I, I feel like I have a really bad headache and everything. I'm just like, ugh. But, no! This was so freaking cute! Goodbye! Like, diabetes. Everything. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go lay down for a couple minutes. But, go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode 10. Alright, guys. It, it's, of course, the next day. I'm sorry. I really was not feeling good after I recorded episode 9. I feel a lot better now. I think it had to be something I ate or whatever because, like, I was just, like, and I had to lay down. And I would have recorded, like, 
after I woke up from my nap. Oh, at 1 o'clock, and I was like, I need to do the dishes and stuff. So, yeah, here we go at 2.30 in the afternoon. So, episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oops, shit. <laughs> Maybe she wants to do something else with you, babe. Because you're excited. <laughs> <gasps> Look at her outfit! Oh! It has to be her. It is! Look at it! Mm-hmm. It's so cute. Oh my god. Both of them with the same fucking thing. Yeah, let's hang out first before we give you the manga. Ah, yes. Christmas in March. For me. <laughs> Guys, we'll be done with this next week. Even though we're still continuing because we have the second half, but I'll be done with this next week. It's a little sad and bittersweet, even though, like I said, I'm continuing on such... But still, like, oh my god. But no, at the same time, I am proud of myself. I did not want for this series and the other series postpone everything. That was my new resolution for this year, to try not to postpone any of my Patreon and non-Patreon shows. Because I was like, let me tell you, because it takes a lot out of you. And, you know, when you're working uh, at your regular job and you're doing this too, and you get really, really tired and such. Yeah. Don't do that. But the good thing is always know when your body says like, hey, you need a break. Take a break. Even though they're not holding hands or anything. Oh, oh my god. I need chopsticks. Like, ugh. No, don't walk behind her. You look like a stalker. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> yeah, come over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, it is. Damn, that's a line. Why not? But hold on. You're waiting in line to get food. Ain't that the same thing? Mm, 
and just causing a scene. Oh my god. You sure? You don't want anything else? You better order some pancakes. Which one? Blynn. You sure you didn't want anything else? Oh my god, you so cute. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, look at her. She's already stylish already. I would love to take, I would love to have a whole freaking video on every single outfit she wears. Not her school uniform, just anything outside of it. No, it's okay. You just call, uh, you could have put like at least two sugars in that. Ichigawa, it's okay. You want to try? Oh, yep. Gotta take the pick. Uh... She made a gift? Oh. Do you not like it?
could you say something else better than nice guys? I'm gonna talk to my guy subs here. Say something other than nice. Like, oh, it looks very fashionable, stylish. Use good, articulated words. Well, yeah, it's definitely supposed to feel like that. Damn. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, and plus you need that first look opinion, though. Oh, that's cute, too. It's really beautiful. No, 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 no. Season two. You're not. Uh, uh. I love the fact that it, it's short, but it's not like too short, short where it looks kind of like, you know, what's up in a way, but it's so cute. See, now you have to buy it. <laughs> I love how they're still holding the bag together. That's so fucking cute. Yeah, is there anywhere you want to go? True. Yeah, you're you are definitely a to yourself kind of guy and nothing's wrong with that. Watch her completely forget to get it back and he keeps it. Smells like her.
Yeah, I mean, because, you know, you're with her. Duh. It, that's completely different. Like, oof. <laughs> uh oh. Don't get separated. Oh. That's her again. <laughs> Feels like a dream sequence right now. No hug, no nothing. Damn. Dang, she walk fast. I mean, in heels? Girl. Oh, no, there she is. But, okay, no. Can we just talk about the fact is this episode is going to go on like the, the favorite list of dates that DJ officially wants as a date. I mean, this might be, not well, it's not number one. I would tell you that. But it's probably in like top ten. Because the number one date will always be the Monogatari date. Like, that, that's the date of all dates. Like, they went to places I really want to go to. Now, I would say like number two is anything that has an aquarium date. But no, I love the fact is that, you know, when they both saw each other and how like because he still had his head up and the mask on, she was clearly like, who the F is you? Why are you looking at me like that? Like, mm -mm. you know, about to be ready to get that taser out and be like, you better back the F up. Can, can Japan have, can people in Japan have tasers? Yeah. We research. We need to look that up. Mm -hmm, yes, because protection. We need it. Yes, but no. Even them having like that cute little moment in the dressing room. Trying to kill me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and, and I love how just. Once they got on the train and they got, like, separated, they held hands just to really know, like, hey, we're together, even though we can't look at each other and such. Like, it's too much.
Yeah, no, not the pervy stuff. Just everything. You are right about that, but I, I don't think she's really held hands with most of her girlfriends like that, or close to holding hands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, madam. Oh. <laughs> that is that is nuts. <laughs> Laying there and was like, it's all right. Mm -hmm. Go to sleep. Gentle, gently, gently, gently. Yes. Go to sleep. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have good, sweet dreams. <laughs> and be like, you got this. You got this. Just tell us. Tell her in a couple of days how you really feel. And then when it's time, you kiss her. You know, if we don't see it now, I won't be mad. Like, give it to me in season two, okay? Like, I need that kiss by the end of the second half of this show. Okay, okay, yes. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Enjoy that little ASMR. You're probably not going to get that shit again. <laughs> But no, like, seriously, their date was, like, super adorable. I mean, yeah, like, in the moment, like, when they're in the freaking, um, dressing room together, only because of the fact that his sister was coming towards, and I'm, I'm like, number one, you don't want to see, like, your family members out and about and such, and especially if you are hanging out with someone and you're on a date with someone else, your sister's gonna make, like, a big behind deal out of it and such. So I get it, because uber embarrassed, baby, like, I get it. But like once, as he said, he's very much a people, he's not a people person. And I, I think I like that about him a lot because you typically, the thing is like Yamada, she's going for someone she typically does not go for. She, she's a very, you know, bubbly out there, social butterfly kind of gal. And so, um, as she's even stated, she's never had a boyfriend and such. And so no matter how many times like any guy has come to her, there's always no's from her. And this is the first guy where, you know, I think she questions herself even as much as Ishikawa does as well. And I think it's really sweet. Just, you know, hopefully next week we finally get something. I'm just saying, yes. Like, g give me my, like, do you want to date me? Or I like you. Should we date? Da -da -da -da. Don't be like Hanekawa and be like, you know, Akaragi-kun, I like you. Um... <laughs> you know, would you want to date me with marriage in mind? Even though, you know, some of us girls, we, we want to say that to, like, our significant others and such. You know, possibly with the thought of marriage in mind. Because, yeah, you know, hey, no, but not yet. Don't be like that. Just, like, can we date? Like, can we get to know each other a little bit better? Yes, do that. Do that. But, no, this was a really cute, like, freaking episode. Even with the fact is like, the lights, the Christmas lights. And her looking up and... Ichigawa just looking at her and just being in awe of her. Like, it's just so fucking sweet. Like, once again, do your fucking readers with this damn show. Ugh, I can't. Like, gag me with a spoon. Kill me now. Because it's too fucking much. It's too fucking much. And I hate the fact that we're almost over with this fucking show for the first half. But other than that, guys, that's my reaction view towards episodes 9 and 10 of The Dangers in My Heart. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. and make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for 
I'm about to say Patreons, next Thursday for everybody else and next Saturday for Patreons for the final two episodes of the first half of this show. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.